Hi there, I'm John from CNCROI.com and today we're going to make a custom UV printer jig. CNCRI.com makes a whole bunch of different jigs for a variety of different machinery. Uh, some of our customers have UV printers and they need us to make jigs based off uh, custom small parts that they might have. Other customers have large industrial parts and they need us to CNC router a jig that can hold something specifically in a specific angle because it's kind of a weird shape or whatever it is. Uh, today we'll focus on UV printing and what you have here is a plastic card. It's generally used for like a name badge for UV print shops and they can print full color on this, which is pretty actually pretty cool. And here is the jig that we made for this. In this case here, uh, the customer sent us the part because it's just a little bit kind of difficult to work out uh, if you don't know the exact measurements and there's a little bit of variance between the parts, what exactly would work perfectly for a custom UV jig. Now the UV jig, uh, up to this point on the, all the videos and the blog posts that I've done, they've always been basically the same shape repeated. But that's not to mean that we can't make them different shapes. So for instance here, if you wanted these ones here to be this direction, and these ones here to be, you know, that direction, and you wanted these ones to be little circles for, for golf balls, for instance, and you wanted a section here to be for, I don't know, sticks or whatever you want, uh, we can do a mix and match that's absolutely no problem for us here in the shop. In this point, in this case here, we basically have a business card size uh, plastic name badge thing. And here's the jig, and it fits a little bit hard to do this at an angle. And it fits perfectly. Now the fit is important because you see there's just a little bit of give. And the reason why you want to give a little bit of give is because the operator of the, of the UV printer has better things to do than go in there with pliers and, and a screwdriver, try to take things out, and reversely use a hammer to sort of bang things in. You want to give a little bit of give, maybe roughly less than a millimeter, maybe a half a millimeter X and Y, and that just helps speed things up. Of course, we use jigs a lot here in the shop for our own customers uh, when it comes to laser and router and a whole bunch of other stuff that we do here in the shop. So, you know, just from that experience, I've made jigs that are too tight, I've made jigs that are too loose, and it's a very fine line between uh, too, you know, just really hard to work with to too easy to work with. Uh, for my personal preferences for jigs, I like it when I could, let's say we do uh, anodized aluminum uh, dog tags. What I like to do is have a jig where basically my test is I can flip it around and everything falls out because then I can literally do that during a production run. So I put this in the laser after it's done, flip it around, load it up with the next batch and then so on and so forth. I don't know where the
As for material, I've showcased a lot of different materials through the years at cncri.com. Uh, from formica to uh, walnut to hardwood, softwood. Um, we've done jigs out of plastic, uh, acrylic, you name it, we've done it, even rubber. In this case here, it's just one eighth thick plywood, so three millimeters. And the reason why I went with plywood for this application is because it's easier to glue to MDF than formica, but more importantly, it has some pretty good strength to it. As for the backing of the UV jig, it's just simple quarter inch or six millimeters MDF. The reason for a thicker backing is just because we want something that's flat. Uh, a lot of our customers also have UV printers with uh, vacuum tables. So for them, sometimes what they do is they appreciate having this on top of it, just holds everything totally in place. Another option is to actually just tape it to the table. And additionally, some of our customers even just screw them in. So they give us guides for their UV printer and they say, okay, well we got, let me just grab this for an example here. So we have like a guide, metal guide here, 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 little circle things or cylinders and they just drop it into place. So because of our on-demand approach towards UV printing jigs, uh, we can literally make any size, any shape, any thickness. Now another reason why we went with very thin material here is because the cards are very thin. And with UV printing, the process happens basically right on the surface. So you can't really have the card uh, thinner or the material that much thinner than the jig itself. Uh, let's say we use six millimeter thick uh, MDF to make the, this part here. Uh, it probably wouldn't work because the printer head would actually smash into the jig. So there's a lot of variances involved with UV printing. Uh, we're getting more and more familiar with them because we have a growing client base of UV printing shops that use us uh, to make all the jigs that they love to use for their printing business. So if you need a custom UV jig, contact me at cncri.com.